I learned to do that from Howard Hill, and I can teach you to do the same. John Johnson. In his early 20s, John Schultz was privileged to be introduced to archery by the great Howard Hill. And this being the only instruction he received in the sport, he has never deviated from that style. Hunting and shooting the Hill style, when his busy schedule allows, has produced for him nearly all western big game and almost every variety of small game and game birds. Since the 1950s, he has shot exhibitions for business clubs, fairs, scouts, and schools, patterning them after his mentor, Howard Hill. Having learned the art of bow making directly from Hill, he's been building bows for over 30 years and is best known for his famous American longbow. In John's copy of Hunting the Hard Way are penned these words by Howard Hill. To my longtime friend and hunting partner, John Schultz. Now, this inscription would be an honor and inspiration to any truly devoted bow hunter, since it came from a man who was undoubtedly the greatest bow hunter ever. It would be an uninformed individual who would argue as to who is the all-time greatest bow hunter. Howard Hill's records on film, in diary, and eyewitness accounts establish him in that capacity. To have been his friend was a rare privilege. To have hunted with him, an unforgettable experience. Few indeed are those who were personally instructed by him, who shot with him, hunted with him, and drank his campfire coffee. Even fewer are those who have sat in his home time and again while he related hunting stories and described years of experience. John Schulz was one of those privileged few. What success John has had in shooting the bow, he attributes to God and Howard Hill. It is Howard's inspiration that has motivated John to present these basics of shooting. It is John's desire that the greatness of this legendary archer may live on, and that you too will be hitting them like Howard Hill. During all my years of traveling across this country, shooting the bow, speaking, putting on bow hunting seminars, it's been my observation that most archers would like to be successful bow hunters and yet most of them are frustrated in that desire this video presentation is about the shooting style of the greatest bow hunter and bow shot of all time the legendary howard hill it seems that nowadays there are two howard hills one who's the result of a lot of exaggerated claims and descriptions of outlandish feats, and the other one, provable fact. I've read many things and heard many things about Howard. Some of them are disturbing, others are humorous. I remember hearing about one fellow that said Howard could draw and knock an arrow so fast and could shoot so quickly that his second arrow would catch the first one before the first one hit the target. Let's set the record straight. Years ago, my brother Dan and I had a debate with some local target shooters who were telling us that Howard Hill wasn't much of a shooter as far as paper and scores. A few days later, we went over to Howard's house telling him about the argument we'd had, and without comment, he called his wife. He said, Libba, bring that shoebox in here. In just a minute or two, Mrs. Hill came into the room with a shoebox about that size. Howard, without comment, took the lid off the box, and the box was over half full of medals. In one sweeping gesture typical of Howard, he dumped the contents on the coffee table and lo looking at us said, look them over carefully, boys. There's not a second place in the whole bunch. Howard Hill won 196 field tournaments in succession. When he dropped out of 
competition in the late 40s, he was undefeated in that field. Howard Hill shot in three World's Fairs, 14 major sportsman shows. For years, he was a regular feature at the Los Angeles Sportsman Show. Howard Hill was the highest paid performer with the bow and arrow ever. When he filmed The Last Wilderness in the area around Cody, Wyoming, at the end of his stay in front of a witness, he shot an arrow at a bull elk, one arrow over, shot the second arrow under the bull, the third one a direct hit in the chest, Witness stepped off distance 185 paces. During that same film and recorded on that film, he's the first white man to ever take a bighorn ram with a bow and arrow. In that famous Robin Hood with Arrow Flynn, Howard actually and intentionally split the arrow in the bullseye. In his lifetime, he killed over 2,000 pieces of game of which over 430 were big game men. On February 27, 1950, archery history was written, and Howard Hill gained the unique distinction of being the first white man ever to kill a bull elephant with a bow and arrow. He killed three. Zip Newman, former sports editor of the Birmingham, Alabama News, once said, Never has one man so completely dominated his sport as Howard Hill. His native state of Alabama confirmed that in 1971 by inducting him into her archery sports hall of fame. The single most impressive thing about Howard Hill's shooting style was not his accuracy. Although he was awesomely accurate, the thing that left you scratching your head was his cool, casual, and fluid style of shooting the bow. To best illustrate this style, let me tell you a little story that will describe what I'm trying to show you. When we were in Utah on my first hunt with Howard, we spent the night down in a little town called Beaver, the next morning, our host, Gus Demas of Salt Lake, was taking us up to camp. On the way up to camp, he was telling how many deer there were in the area, and Howard said, well, if there are that many deer, I'll kill one before I get to camp. He pulled his car over, strung his bow, put on his arm guard and shooting glove, and laid his broadhead arrows on the duffel so he could pull one out. Some miles later, we were almost to camp, came around a bend, and three deer ran across the road. Howard stopped the car, got out, and opened and closed the door a time or two, and Gus said, Howard, what are you doing? He said, I want to see how spooky those deer are. He said, don't spook one, shoot one. Howard said, you want me to shoot one of those? He said, yeah, we need some camp meat. Now, here's my point. In one motion, Howard turned, reached, took his bow in this hand, an arrow, broadhead arrow by the knock, knocked his arrow as he was turning, begins his draw, swings, shoots, and makes a perfect chest hit, 65 steps, I stepped it off, and I tracked the deer. A casual, fluid style of shooting the bow, but it always got results. This style of his is, without question, the most conducive to bow hunting under any and all hunting conditions. I believe the most important words that Howard ever said to my brother Dan and me were, boys, make up your mind what you want to do, hunt or shoot target, because the two just don't go together.